Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. Working with core data can be a little bit tricky at first, especially when you're dealing with background threads. How do you safely do an update on a background thread? What happens if you go to change your context and you're not in the main UI thread? It doesn't take a lot of searching on the internet to see that background threads and core data have really dropped and smashed a lot of people on the rocks when it goes to building their applications. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to safely work with core data on a background thread. Come on in. Okay, so let's start by just talking about what the problem and where the danger is when we're working with core data and background threads. So here I've got a class which is making an HTTP request using URL session. And when that result comes back in this closure, that is not on the main queue. That's the first thing you've got to understand. You've got to be very careful where you are when you're making these kinds of requests. And in this case, data task makes no promise that you're going to be in the main th thread or the main queue when you come back. So all the JSON parsing I do here, I just have to be aware I'm not in the main queue. Now, the way we handle that in Swift is I can dispatch myself back to the main queue so I can safely let my view controller know, hey, it's okay for you to change the UI because I'm putting you back on the main queue like this. But this line right here, this is the dangerous one. This is where I'm working with core data. This is where I'm not going to be in the main queue. So I've got to be a little bit careful around what we're doing here. Here's the work that actually does, in this case, create a core weather data object for me in core data. So here I get my view context. View context, of course, that word view is very important. That means it expects me to be on the main thread. But of course, we know I'm not. If I run this app now, just to show you what happens, is I'm gonna go out there and fetch the weather. And if I go try to fetch the weather for a place like New York, boom, that'll happen but I'm printing out my stats down here and I can see that after I've gone through and done this processing, I am not on the main thread. Let me just bring that up. There we go. So I'm not on the main thread, which means if I was to do anything here with the UI, I would be in a lot of trouble here. That's not what I wanna do. So step number one to work safely with core data on the background thread is to use this method here called perform background task. That is different than just getting the view context and using that to do my core data work. Here, I go to my container and I ask it to perform this background task where it'll execute this code in the closure. What this is really doing is this is setting up a private core data queue behind the scenes, offsetting this closure and code onto it and letting me do my processing there. So this is great if you've got a lot of heavy lifting to do. Maybe it's a really big bulk load in core data. This is the thing you want to use, perform background task. So if I load that now, I can run the app again. I'll be sure that this is happening in the background. And if I go search for the weather now for someplace like Calgary, that's okay. That's a good way to offload your heavy loading on data. Now, what about getting back on the main UI thread? I mean, how do I make sure that it's safe for me to go and update the UI after I've done some really heavy lifting on the background thread here. Well, that's where we can go get our view context. This is the one we want to use if we're ever about to update the UI after doing some core data processing. And this is the one that you're gonna see in most core data tutorials. You're always gonna see view context. This is the one that's most often used because usually core data is so fast, we can do that processing on the main UI thread. But in this case, we've purposely put ourselves in the background thread. So we wanna make sure that we're back on the main thread so we can safely update the UI. How do we do it? We use this thing called perform. We can get our view context. We can call perform on it. And that will ensure that this processing happens in the context from which it came. So in this case, if we're grabbing a view context, perform will make sure that whatever processing happens here happens on the main thread. So if I run the app now and I go fetch the weather for a lovely city like Paris, now I can see I'm on the main thread. I could safely update the UI here if I had something to update and everything happened. Everything worked, everything is safe. I can safely now update the UI after doing some heavy intense programming on the background thread. 
okay, so there you have it. Background threads, we can use them safely with core data. We just gotta be careful. Make sure you're using that perform background task if you wanna make sure that you wanna offload something and put on the background thread. And then always be sure to make sure you're on that main UI thread by going perform on the view context that you get. If you do that, you're gonna have no problems. Core data is gonna work fine and you can do heavy processing on a background thread. Okay, that's all for now. Please leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video, or if you've got other topics you'd like to see related to this or anything else iOS related. And that's it for now. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.